So Venus in Pisces, what is it? Why is it important? And what does it have to do with your relationship? Hey, I'm Larimar. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I would love to talk about Venus in Pisces. I'm all about becoming the best self and inspiring you to become the best self. And astrology has been one of the greatest tools for me to deepen my understanding and understand the life in general. So this is part of the relationship series and we are co-creating this experience together. So your engagement like liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing really helps grow my channel and help me continue this creative journey. So thank you so much in advance and let's get started. So Venus in Pisces, what is it? Why is it important? And what does it have to do with your relationship? Venus in Pisces exalted, meaning that super strong. It's one of the best positions to have. But there are some challenges though. So Venus is the planet of love and relationship. And Pisces is the very last zodiac sign and it bridges between the non-physical and physical worlds. So if you have this position, you would be daydreaming a lot about your ideal partner. And the chance is that your ideal partner does not even exist. When you're in a relationship, you could be overly idolize and romanticize your partner, basically not seeing them for who they really are. And sometimes like when you're awakened to the reality, you may be disappointed. Pisces inherently one of the most challenging signs because we learn the lessons of Pisces through loss. And nowadays, um, like on the mainstream society, earning and growing, gaining is more respected than losing and going minimal. So in this lifetime, you would learn love through some sort of loss, sacrifice, and service. So in relationships, you would be more of a giver than receiver. And you would love giving unconditional love. And you can, you can be attracted to someone uh, considered weak or imbalanced in some way, shape, or form so you can help the person. It's not uncommon that you would be attracted to someone unavailable. So for example, it could be a movie star or an imaginary character in the fiction or film. You could be also drawn to a foreigner or someone who has a totally different background from yours because Pisces represents a foreign country, a faraway country. Another thing represented by Pisces is escapism. So you, so you can escape reality through relationships, especially if you have easy aspects to Venus. It'll be a really good method of escapism. But in general, in relationship, you tend to give more than receive because Pisces represents unconditional love. As a negative expression, you or your partner could showcase some sort of addictive behaviors. It could be alcoholic or addicted to drug or certain behaviors and mentally lost in some way, shape or form. But when your vibration is high, you would be attracted to someone very creative, imaginative, and spiritual, and unconditionally loving and angelic. So these are positive manifestations. Yeah, so Pisces represents fantasy. So you have the relationship needs to fulfill your fantasy. That being said, either you or your partner need to be able to play different roles like role playing, and that will make your relationship very dynamic and entertaining as well. Pisces is one of the most adaptable signs. 
So you can kind of camouflage into a variety of different situations. And a lot of actors do have this position. And as a negative expression, it's not uncommon that these people experience some sort of cheating because Pisces represents secrets and mysteriousness. So either you or your partner can have a secret relationship or you can share a secret relationship. Unless your Venus is in a visible position like in the 10th house or a 1st house or 7th house, your relationship may stay secretive and hidden. And also, it's, it's also possible that you may not know what's really going on in your relationship, especially if you have a challenging aspect of Venus. But this is not to make a fatalistic statement though. These are just possibilities when you have Venus in Pisces and it's your free will to create your own reality. So when you focus on higher form of love, focus more on service and giving and just feeling unconditional love. It's almost like agape love that Jesus Christ taught us. It's also possible that either you or your partner play a savior role. Don't try to save someone or to be saved. One of the most effective tips for you to attract the best relationship is letting go and letting God. Pisces is a very spiritual position, so the more you have faith in relationship without trying to control your partner or the environment, things will unfold naturally. It's hard to explain in words. You can meet up with your partner when you least expect it. And you would find the greatest fulfillment in relationship when you and your partner have faith for each other and when you guys can share creative hobbies together or go on a vacation to a foreign country or countryside, isolated places. Retreating from busy world and for example, yoga, meditation, go on a retreat, fishing and drawing, painting, writing, watching movies together, some sort of a virtual reality. It could be playing games together as well. The element of virtual reality will help you deepen the bonding and relationships and just focus on the positive aspects though. And you or your partner would enjoy doing charity work, service. So that's about it. And so now I want to turn it over to you and let me know what you resonated with it. And if I miss something, let me know. Because, you know, in astrology, there are so many symbols and I might have missed some of them. And Pisces also represents loss and missing components. So, yeah. And at some point, you can have a lost connection with your partner. Or it could be just simply having a long-distance relationship. You need to look at your chart holistically. And remember, you can find the good in every situation. So... It's not really what happens matters, but what you do with what happens matters. I hope this is helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.